This is Rabbi Yehuda Levin of RabbiLevin.com. The fact of the matter is that we, the religious remnant, perhaps even a minority of Christians, Muslims, and certainly of Orthodox Jews are a minority in this country, are faced with a Hobbesian choice. On the one hand, we know the terrible things that uh, President Obama represents. And it would be unthinkable to lift our hands and to support and vote for him in any way. On the other hand, if Romney is the Republican candidate and he is a flip-flopper and a person who has defied his Mormon religion on the subject of homosexuality and the homosexual agenda, he supports every single thing open homosexuals in the military, he issued homosexual youth pride proclamations, he forced clerks in, uh, in Massachusetts to perform homosexual marriage, and then he'll piously say, but I'm against homosexual marriage, I'm for a constitutional amendment. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other, he supports domestic partnership and civil unions. So what are we to do? Can we afford another four years of Obama? The answer is, better to be a loyal opposition and hopefully and pray that Congress and the Senate should both be in Republican hands, and we should be a loyal opposition standing loyal to who? Not loyal to Romney, not loyal to the houses of power and the sources of power, like so many Christian leaders and conservative leaders are all genuflecting to Romney, and he gives them the back of his hand by appointing a fellow just recently to be his spokesman on, far, on foreign affairs and issues, Janelle I think his name is, who has a homosexual partner who he's supposed to soon marry, and, and already homosexual activists are questioning whether Romney is going to be at the wedding or what kind of wedding gift he's going to give them. We have to be loyal to God. We have to have the ultimate insurance policy for the purity of our children and grandchildren and for the surviving of this great last hope. A God bless America. It depends on us, the remnant. And we, the remnant, can't be bought by all of Romney's money and by all the power brokers uh, in the Republican Party and the conservative turncoats, uh, whoever they are, whether they're the Ann Coulters, the Krauthammers, or um, anybody else who has endorsed Romney with the bluff that we're going to change him. Yeah, you're going to change a guy who for 15 years was supporting the whole homosexual agenda. Here's the plan. There are only around 10 states that are in play. Some are all red states, some are all blue states. In the all red states, you shouldn't lift your hand to vote for Romney. You shouldn't do it. Romney... Leave him alone. Don't vote for him. Do a write-in or pass by. Don't testify or support someone who is anti-God. He is anti-God. The flood of Noah came. The final step before the flood of Noah, our rabbis teach us, was for homosexual marriage. And it didn't make a difference if it was called marriage or domestic partnership or civil unions, Mr. Romney. It's all the same thing. So the point is, the red states don't count, the blue states don't count. If you're in one of those swing states, so then a group of devout Muslims, Christians, and Jews, even a, a relatively few million people, can be responsible for keeping Romney, who's worse than Obama because he masquerades as a pious family person while he pollutes our cultural wellsprings. This is more offensive to God than the person who's obviously has an evil agenda. And by doing this, we could sanctify his name, we could make an insurance policy that our children and grandchildren should be pure in the face of all of the smut and the garbage, the bilge of the cultural sewers that we're forced to survive in, we could start the climb back out of the, the slouching towards Gomorrah. This is our job, and I plead with the Reverend Falwell and the Christian Voters Guide to tell us the truth. And the same applies to Dr. Land and the Southern Baptist Convention. You should be prepared to go to prison together with me, not only for uh, forcing us to, to support abor abortion, abortion patients in insurance or attacks on religious liberty and freedom, but the ultimate attack, the homosexualization of America. Please tune into Rabbi Levin for more videos on this subject and spread the word. Thank you.